Yeah, so tell me a little bit. There's always that debate of how do you reconcile the two, the open play versus the league. What do you guys do? Is it about what days you schedule it or how do you blend the two together successfully? Yeah, it's tough. And honestly, I've already decided in my mind that I will compromise open play to get somebody bowling better. So for example, this summer we did a learn to bowl better and we had 68 people that signed up for it. And it was much better turnout than what we anticipated. It's an 18 lane center. We're in a small community. It's very growing. It's booming, but it's a small center. And we thought we were getting a lot of feedback from our bowlers. And I think a lot of it was COVID related. Some legacy bowlers that have bowled every season back to back for years and years. Here, they just took a break, COVID. We were closed for six months here at our location. So half half a year completely shut down. And then when we reopened, masks on, social distancing. So before we got some of the league bowlers back in the house, it had been a while. And I'd never heard so many people saying, oh, my game, I'm just not feeling it. People that would normally not say I need help with my bowling game were saying I need help with my bowling game. So we sat down and thought, well, let's develop a program. We did a 12 week program. We included some options for some equipment too, because sometimes people are sitting on that ball that was drilled 15 years ago. And sometimes the equipment is part of the fix, right? Mm -hmm. You have to have modern equipment in your hand to really compete. But we did a learn to bowl class and we opened up all 18 lanes on, on Thursday evening in the summers. And, and basically we told ourselves that we were going to put that time and that effort in to teaching people how to bowl better. And that's what we did. It is, you have to yourself look and say, what am I willing to give? What am I, wait, what am I willing to get? So some people would have probably looked at that and said, oh man, you gave up your entire Thursday evening. Mm -hmm. You could have had the lanes full with open play. But again, for me, we had 68 bowlers. They came out of the program more confident about their bowling, getting ready for the fall season. And again, we're about the sport. You can find, you you have to really per center, per location, per demographic. Everybody has a little different situation. They might be 40% league play, 60% open play. It's different from center to center. Our league play and tournament play is probably closer in, in, our, in this location here, maybe like 35, 40%. But okay. It, it's something that we're always going to put time and effort into. So right. it, even if I have to say, sacrifice some open play lanes to get a learn to bowl club on or, or whatever it may be, we're always going to do that because we know that'll pay off for us in the future. Yeah. And a lot of the open play people are really looking at Friday, Saturday, primarily, as long as you have those open, you're going to get 80% or more of your open play people anyway, Absolutely. and then it just becomes leagues are during the week and then open plays the weekend. Absolutely. And you definitely, you got to make sure that you're, you're communicating that to the community because people get really frustrated. If they know Monday nights, it's just a full house. Great. They can right. plan accordingly. If they know Tuesday is a full house, I think the communication is important. So we always have yeah. updated schedule, whether it's on our social media or our website, because that seems to be the most frustrating is when somebody comes in with a family right. and all the lanes are running on it. Oh, when are we going to get a lane? Oh, the league you're just not. started <laughs> and they won't finish for another two and a half, three hours. That I think as long as they know what they've got and they can plan for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or if you have a gap right. somewhere during the week, that exactly. helps. Hey, did you like this video? Great. We make five of them a week. Subscribe to get more and to keep learning about what's working in the bowling industry. I'll talk to you then.